thrown a lot of disasters at Earth over the years, from asteroids and aliens to the sun's death. But hey, the universe is a dangerous place, and we're not done yet. Now we're going to throw a black hole into the mix, and not just any black hole, but a blazar. How old is the oldest blazar? Why can we see some blazars, but not others? And what is the Doppler effect, and how would it let us know that a blazar is on its way? This is What If, and here's what would happen if a blazar entered our solar system. Black holes are found at the center of most galaxies. The Milky Way has a black hole that is four million times the mass of the sun. But that's small compared to other black holes out there. For instance, there's PSO J0309 plus 27. This galaxy is the oldest ever discovered at around 13 billion years old. And since the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, PSO J0309 plus 27 has basically been around almost since the beginning. At the center of this galaxy is a supermassive black hole that could fit 250 black holes from the Milky Way. Because of this crazy big black hole, PSO J0309 plus 27 is considered to be a blazar. And blazars are the most extreme type of active galactic nuclei, or AGN for short. But what are active galactic nuclei? Well, there are different types, a blazar being just one of them. But basically, they're galaxies with supermassive black holes that spew tons of energy, which could range from radio waves to gamma rays. Because they give off so much energy, they are the brightest objects in the universe. So, what makes a blazar special? We'll get back to these galactic events soon, but first, I wanted to talk to you about Morning Brew. And no, I'm not talking about a cup of coffee. It's a free newsletter that I get daily every morning. You know, I used to spend my mornings going down a rabbit hole on Reddit. Now, I spend just five minutes reading up on all things business, finance, and tech. Morning Brew isn't dry and boring like traditional news. It's witty, and relevant, and informative. It keeps me up to date on everything from the US and China making a joint statement about climate change to the roller coaster that is cryptocurrency. Morning Brew is also the sponsor of today's video. If you're interested in business, finance, or tech, there's really no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew. It's completely free, and it takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Just click on the link in the description and subscribe today. Blazars are extremely rare. There are anywhere from 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies in the universe, and only one out of every 10,000 galaxies are blazars. But what makes them really spectacular are the jets of material shooting out from the top and bottom of their rotating disks. These jets are supercharged with magnetic fields and radiation. The material inside them can travel just under the speed of light, and their lethal radiation beams are pointed straight at Earth. Let me be clear, it's not just some blazars that are pointed toward us, but all of them. Any blazars that aren't pointing their deadly jets in our direction are invisible to us. So what blazar would be the most likely to enter our solar system? Well, let's go with the closest one to Earth, Markarian 421 at 400 million light years away. How would we know it's coming? And when would it start affecting Earth? Well, scientists would know that Markarian 421 is getting closer to Earth almost right away. The light from the blazar would change from red to blue. Changes to the light's wavelength would cause this, and it has to do with the Doppler effect. This is a hard one to explain, so I'm going to use a metaphor. 
you've just pulled over to clear a path for an ambulance, and as the ambulance approaches you, its siren has a higher frequency, but once it passes and speeds away from you, its siren has a lower frequency. Both sound and light behave like waves, so you can use the same idea for the Doppler effect. When a galaxy moves away from you, the frequency of its wavelengths become lower and shift toward red. When a galaxy moves toward you, its wavelengths have a higher frequency and shift toward blue. Most galaxies in the universe are red-shifted because the universe is expanding. So, if Markarian 421 suddenly changed to blue, astronomers would know right away that it was heading toward us. How long would we have? Well, even at the speed of light, it would take Markarian 421 400 million years to reach Earth. <laughs>